a bride in Sydney, Australia, has detailed the horrifying moment her groom asked her for a divorce on their wedding night. You guys, this matter is serious. So, a bride just on their wedding night after they have tied the knot together uh, on their wedding night, her husband asked her for Ibonge. You guys, you guys know what is Ibonge, eh? Mm -hmm. It's so clear, so you guys know it's so clear, so you guys know what that thing that uh, papa and mama is doing, you know? A husband and wife, that thing that husband and wife is doing. Mm -hmm. So after they wed, after they, they wed them together on their wedding night, bride um groom asked for ibonge you guys groom asked for ibonge and the bride refused my people what happened next will shock you it will shock talize you eh this one not be saying a black to black or this one a white people white people they don't take rubbish they don't they just go straight to the point they don't do agabagebe you guys White people are honest. They always go straight to the point. If they want Ibonge, they will tell you that, look, I want Ibonge. They don't go corner corner to get Ibonge, you guys. They will tell you, pump and play, this is what I want. And this couple, they just wedded, they are newly wedded couple. On their wedding night, after they have tied the knot in the courtroom, they come back to their hotel room to have Ibonge to relax. You guys know now, after you, you and your husband tie the knot in the court or wherever you tie the knot, you go back to your hotel room. You know what follows it, you guys. But for this couple, this thing happened in Sydney, Australia. Let me read it again. A blind in Sydney, Australia has detailed the horrifying moment her groom asked her, asked her for a divorce on their wedding night. Why did the gloom ask for divorce? Because she refuses to do Ibonge with her husband, her, her husband to be, her supposed husband. My people, this matter not be small matter. Because if it come to Ibonge, <laughs> be man or be woman, we don't take it whosoever, don't take it like you know, it's taken serious. So, what are you what am I saying? This Ibonge matter can lead to divorce, yes. Any relationship that Ibonge is not, you know, included, is always, you know, what follows it. Separation follows it. Divorce follows it. Uh, what we learn follows it. Everything. You understand what I'm trying to say here. So, her, her husband to be, as in, her, is not to be. They have already tied the knot. They are newly wedded couple. You understand that they have already tied the knot. So, on their wedding night, after tying the knot at the altar, they go back to their hotel room and the groom, as a groom, asks the bride, you know, to complete now so that they will do Ibonge, you guys know. Hmm? And the bride refused to do Ibonge, what next? Now divorce. And immediately, the husband asks for divorce, immediately. This news is everywhere. In fact, I find it on Linda E. Cage. You can go there and check it out. Immediately, she the immediately the man asks for a divorce, and that is how it ends. These are the white people. They don't take they don't take that. They don't they don't joke with such thing. If they tell you they want Ibonge, they go straight to the point. They don't do you wulu wulu, you know. They don't do you like like our people. Or trying to pretend. No, they tell you, man, she I like I want that she, you know. <laughs> I want that. So you guys, that is how the whole thing ends. And the woman stand, and the woman stand on her feet. She said no. The woman said that she don't want to do. That she don't want to do. Eh? That she cannot force it. She don't want to do. The husband prays for that, prays for that. And he noticed that this woman had mean business so that this woman is not bringing this shit for him this 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 woman is not giving him this thing oh. and the woman the man immediately the bride him the groom immediately prays for divorce you know immediately asks for divorce and it has given to him right now they are separated officially they are divorced officially my people this ibonge matana your mates ibonge na your mates Ibonge no be your mate, oh. 
if it comes to even me where I did talk so I like it bongy like there is no tomorrow so let me tell you any relationship that is excluded Ibonge, that relationship can never stand. Ibonge is, in fact, you can cure your uh, high BP, your, you know, you can cure it with Ibonge. You can, you know, there's many things that Ibonge can cure. There's many things that Ibonge can do. Ibonge is very necessary for your relationship. Ibonge is very uh, necessary in anything. Ibonge is very important. So you guys, this is where I'm going to end it. Make sure you share this video. Let it go viral. So that people will know that Ibonge is very important in a in marriage and the relationship. Ibonge is very important. Try to do Ibonge with your partner. You will notice that you there is some certain things that your partner will do. You that you, it will make you angry, but you because of that ibonge where 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 they say they they give you back to back, you can forget about that. So this is where I'm going to end it. Make sure you share this video. Let it go viral. Let people know that ibonge is very important in relationship and marriage. Okay, share this video. Thumbs up this video. Share your opinion in the comment section. If you have a different opinion, share in the comment section so that so we can talk about it. Also, follow me on my YouTube channel, Jenny Blog. Make sure you subscribe there and turn on your notification bell so that anytime you come across my video or I post any video, you'll be notified and come and watch the video. Until we see you next time, ciao, guys.